Hi, it's Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today we're going to check out the contents of the Necron Warriors and Paint Set, the Assault Intercessors and Paint Set, and the Paint and Tools Paint Set for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, we're going to check out their contents, see if those paints are the regular size paints, as well as see what kind of savings you have for buying these instead of buying each uh, individual items separately. Alright, first let's get to the Space Marine side of it. So as you can see, there are six paints, one paintbrush, and three Space Marines. Assault Intercessors, a new um, at least when this video is put out, a new type of space marine. As you can see, the assembly guide and the paint scheme are directly on the box. Our three push fit bases. We've got the paintbrush, which is uh, about the size of a medium or large a uh, layer brush by Citadel, and we've got our six paints. They are the full-sized Citadel paints and our sprue. Now in this set, you do not have a way to properly remove these from the sprue, so I would suggest just using Citadel cutters or any sort of cutters that have a thin top to them. I imagine that the paints and tool set will supply me with something like that. Now these are supposed to be push fit where you do not have to use any glue, but I personally would go ahead and grab some plastic glue to glue them in place anyway. The push fit allows you to see where the pieces go and I would just glue them down in place. But you don't have to. If you are going to use plastic glue, do make certain that you do it next to an open window or perhaps outside if you can do that, since there are fumes associated with the plastic glue. Uh, this is all going to be in Canadian prices, but I'll have the US uh, equivalent prices on the screen. So the Space Marines would generally be $20. Each of these in Canadian is $5.40. And this is probably about $10. Since this set is $45 Canadian, let's see what our savings are. So $20 on the three-man group, $10 on the brush, plus 6 by 5.4 comes to $62.40. Since the original, since the cost of the box is uh, $45, you're looking at Seventy-two, So that saves you about 28% of the cost to buy if, if you were to buy them originally. Alright, let's look at the colours. We've got Macrag blue for our base, Abaddon black for all of the black accents and for darkening down that Macrag blue, a technical astro granite which is for putting on the base of your miniature, to make it look like they're standing on gravel, basically. We've got Balthazar Gold for any metal, Corax White for any of the uh, shoulder insignia or other insignia, or for creating highlights with your Macrag Blue, and Agrax Earthshade, which you can apply all over your miniature um, after you put on the base to give it shadows. Now we'll check out the contents of the Warriors and Paint set. Alright, again, we've got the assembly guide and the painting guide right on here. And if you're not certain how they mean to have the paint, the Rune Lord brass goes all over the miniature. The Rune Fang steel seems to go underneath where the Tesseract glow will go. The Agrax Earthshade gloss will go all over wherever you put the Rune Lord brass. Uh, the Abaddon Black goes all over the the rest of the gun and also in the cracks if you choose to do that. I personally would probably not do that and just keep to the Rune Lord Brass plus Agrax Earthshade 
um, rather than these black accents, but you could do that. And the Astro Granite um, makes it look like you're standing on gravel. Just like the Space Marine one, we've got six regularly sized uh, Citadel paints, one spruce and three bases. Your starter brush, it will, I think it's a good starting point since it allows you to completely cover the model as well as has a fine point to get the details all at the same time. You will want to expand out from there, but I do believe it's a good starting point. These are the full six paints. And normally these two come in a larger bottle. If you need a refill of these eventually, you are going to be looking for ones that are probably larger in size, perhaps close to double. Otherwise, these are all the same. We've got the Astro Granite, which is again for putting on your base because it is a texture paint. It will look like gravel when it's dry. Your Rune Fane Steel, your Abaddon Black, your Rune Lord Brass, your Tesseract Glow, and your Agrax Earthshade Gloss. And now, all of these can be combined with one another if you want to do something funky. Um, other than this one, perhaps. This one, you probably don't want to use your brush on this one. Uh, it would be kinder if you used something else. Perhaps if you had one of the very cheap brushes that would never work for painting models anyway. Something like this would not, would not be for painting models of this size, so you could use that on your Astro Granite, but because of the texture involved in your Astro Granite, uh, you will not want to use this brush to apply it. Apply it with something else. Necrons and paint set was just the same as the Space Marine and paint set, so three Necrons, one paintbrush, six, paint, six paints comes to about 62.40 if you were to try and get them individually, and the box itself is 45. Lastly is the paint and tool set. Oh, they're cute and little. Oh, it has bits of, of some oil on it from to keep it uh, fresh, I guess. You may have a question on whether you should get these paint and tools if you've already gotten either one of the paint sets. Well, let's have a look at what we have here. We've got a starter brush again. It looks to be, yeah, it's a, basically the exact same one as what's in the other paint sets, but having more than one brush is not a bad thing. Never a bad thing. Whether it's the same size or not, it's always nice to have more than one brush. We've got our mold line remover. We've got our little Citadel cutters, which we're going to use in a moment. We've got Agrax Earthshade. Always nice to have. We've got Rune Lord Brass, Horax White, which is the same. Macrag Blue, which is the same as the Space Marine. Abaddon Black, which is the same as either of them. We've got Astro Granite. We've got a new paint called Bugman's Glow, which is um, often used as a uh, skin color. We've got Rune Fang Steel, which was the same as the uh, Necron one. We've got Lead Belcher, which is a nice dark silver. We've got Aver Averland Sunset, a nice golden yellow. Uh, and the Averland Sunset can be placed underneath the Tesseract Glow and uh, has a nice effect. So that's always an option. We've got our Tesseract Glow again. Uh, this is a paint that you will n have absolutely no problem having more than one of. We've got our pretty Retributor Armor, which we did not previously have, so that's nice. It's very nice golden color. And we've got Mephiston Red. So would I be unhappy getting this with the other ones? You could see that there were multiple duplicates 
but if you're going to get into the game you're going to be using these paints and it has these paints last a very long time having two of the same paint is not something to be unhappy about whatsoever all right let's try out our cutters this is what i mean and that is very these are very easy to use these ones are super sharp too this is nice looking closely to make certain I don't clip off something I'm not supposed to. Oh, ah, these look, these work great. Yeah. These work great. Let's just grab a teeny little fellow. Yeah. Uh, these are super sharp and definitely thin enough to get all of the pieces off without trouble. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like them. Uh, now, mold line remover. We want to use it for mold line thin. Just scrape it down. It goes away. Now I personally like to use hobby knives, but this is a way that you can do it without any worry about your fingers if you're not accustomed to using such a knife. All the placements of the sprues were definitely thought out for new players. This is $55 in Canadian to purchase this. Uh, normally each paint is other than the white caps. All right, the two white caps are actually 740, not 540 plus 11 times 540. Now, the, the current Citadel cutters, um, which are I guess more high quality than these, so I'm very happy with these mini ones. Uh, very nice. Uh, are 45. I'm gonna just see that these are, you know, we'll just call them 20, 25. This little mold line remover, you know, it's just a very simple piece of metal. We'll just call it five dollars. And we also get our paintbrush, which is generally for a single paintbrush. Uh, we're gonna say it's ten dollars, which means you're at a hundred and fourteen twenty. And instead of a hundred and fourteen twenty, you're getting at fifty five. So, hundred and fourteen twenty. So, you're getting it for basically half price, which means why not, right? If you want any of these colors, if this color, if these colors are great for you, and you've got your red your yellow, you can turn your yellow into green with the Tesseract Glow, or you can mix the two colors, these two colors together. So you've got some, you've got your white, you've got your black, you've got a whole bunch of nice metals. Because there's so much armor going about, having a range of metals is quite nice. We've got a golden, a bronze, basically, a, a pale silver, a dark silver, silver, the technical for your base to make them look like they're standing on gravel, a wash to bring colors together. Uh, this brown wash would be great on the skin or the red or the yellow, uh, really any. It just to let it create shadows in whatever color you are currently using. You want to practice and play with it to get accustomed to it. And of course we've got our new glow effect. Now when it comes to these colors, uh, you will want to mix them up before you use them. As you can see, there's this dark green and then this lighter green. This means that it's not shook, shaken well enough. So make certain before you start any of your paints, you shake them up before you use them. I think these were really well made. It shows you on the box 
exactly what you're getting. It shows you how far you'll be able to go with the paints because the models on the box are clearly only using the paints that are within the boxes themselves, uh, which is quite fantastic. For a moment I was wondering about the uh, Necrons and the Tesseract Glow, but it's clear that you use the Runefane Steel, which is the very light silver um, underneath the Tesseract Glow, so that clears that up. If you get the Hobby and Tools set, there are some duplicates in the paints, but I'm sure you'll be able to use them. Um, I, I seriously do not think having double of your main paints is a bad thing. You are going to be going through them. However, you have... these are full-size paints, so... One of these paints is going to last you a long time. This is a condensed version of what you're going to be using because every time uh, you make a paint, you take some of the, you're going to take some of this paint out and you're going to mix it with it either water or thinner and create a paint from that. You do not want to paint right out of the bottle. You want to thin it down a bit to about cream consistency. Coffee cream consistency would be good other than these liquid paints. There is no need to thin these down. I would suggest not doing it until you are more uh, practiced with it. They do not need to be thinned down, but all of the other ones you'd be thinning down. And of course it comes all in the one box at a discount. About... because there's a... yeah. So about 30%, you have a 30% discount basically on the models and paint sets, and you have a 50% discount on the hobbies and tools. For anyone who ha doesn't already have those colors and has been a long time painting, uh, I see no reason not to get it as a senior player, particularly since these little guys, these little eyes are awesome. I was not expecting it to be so nice. But no, these guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful to you. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more such things. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!